Hey guys, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's Hot Flash and Wrinkles makeup video is a very special one. We are going to be, I'm going to be talking about something that I have been testing out for two years. And I did a video on it two years ago and told you that I liked it, but I'd only been using it for two weeks. Well, now I've been using it for two years and I use it all the time, every night every night it is my this is this is the one I got two years ago it's my sleep and glow pillow and I have to tell you guys this if you have lash extensions it, this is a must you have to have it see these little indents right here when you turn on your side I'm gonna show you in the picture because if I do it I'll get makeup on it so let me put this down if you turn on your side, those little indents, your eye never touches. I can't even do this. But anyways, your eye right here, it never even touches anything. And plus, this pillow also is anti-wrinkles. That's why it's a hot flesh and wrinkles makeup video. Not makeup. A hot flesh and wrinkles video. Because this, I used to have a wrinkle right here. Obviously, that's the side I slept on and I always put my hands under my face. This was before I got the pillow and I had a huge wrinkle right here and I always thought, I mean, it was so deep. I would, you know, how I don't know if you guys do this or not, but I do it all the time. I'd pull my skin back to see what it looked like if I got a facelift and that line was still there. It would, it was so deep, it wouldn't go away. And I'm telling you, it's all but gone. It's, I can still see it. There's a wrinkle there, but it totally, if I bite the bullet and get a facelift, it will be gone. It'll be so gone. And it's because of this blank, because I was trying to learn to sleep on my back because Angie at Hot and Flashy said that's the only way to prevent wrinkles. And I trust her because she knows what she's talking about. Her dad's a, some sort of scientist. And so, she knows and she wouldn't lie to me I know she wouldn't so anyways that's I knew that you know I needed to sleep on my back and I couldn't I slept on my side with my hands under my face and squished it up just like this so I get wrinkles here see if you go like that but I got a huge one down here because I probably put them down here I didn't squish my eye as much but I totally would eyelashes forget it they'd always get totally messed up on the outside corners they don't touch that's why my lashes my lash extensions last like two to three weeks easy if they do lift it's usually the inner corner because I can't stand not to get them clean when I you know wash my face anywho I just wanted to show you guys that this is the old one. This is the one that they sent me two years ago. Well, they recently reached out to me and wanted to send me. I thought it was a new one that they had come out with since they'd already sent me that one two years ago. And this is, oh, I wanted to show you. This is the box that that one came in. And this little guy, where's the front? I think it's this is the one is how it comes now I'm hoping it's little I haven't I opened it but I haven't taken it out of the little package in here I wanted to do that with you guys but I am just I know that I already have that one and I'm gonna keep using that one but I travel to my daughters mostly in California and sometimes I'm there for at least a good two weeks so I really really am super excited I want to keep this intact so that I can mail it to her house because I can't take my pillow with me because the price of luggage on an airplane it's like I could buy three of them just for that extra suitcase to haul it in so anyways when this one came I'm hoping it's like smaller travel size I don't think it is so I think it's exactly the same now that I've looked at the picture but that's fine I'm just gonna mail it and then I'll have one there which I know she's going to use because she has lash, ex lash extensions too. But that's fine. She can use it all the time that I'm not there. And then she can buy one when she <laughs> when I am there. 
anyways, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna unroll it for you guys. It seems that they've added a few little things because that one, they're both memory foam. I gotta keep this so I can try and get it back in there. Um, but this one, this is the um, pillowcase and it comes off, it has a zipper in the back and it comes off and gets washed. But underneath it, it's just memory foam. And it has yellowed a little bit, the memory foam, but that's just from use, from two years worth of use. So, hmm. I don't know what this is. I guess I should read the book, huh? I will read the book in just a moment and find out what that is. And here, and it is, it's smaller. It's got a, like a net on it. I think I need to roll it the other way. But it's basically the same. It's not as deep as the older one. It's, oh, I'm so excited. It's, let me show you. I think it's just a tiny bit smaller in like size, just a little bit. But it's a lot thinner. So I am going to read about it real quick. And you guys can read along with me. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put this down upside down so it uncurls because it's memory foam, so it'll, it'll be fine. And I turned off my ring light so that you didn't have to see the reflection. I don't know how dark this is gonna be without it though. All right. Let me see. It looks like the pictures are looking exactly the same. Oh, I see the this one. You just put this one down first. It's just regular foam. It's not memory foam. And then you put this on top of it. I'll have to read why. Okay, let's see. Seven, additional internal foam layer to adjust pillow height. That's what it's for. If you don't want it as high, then you can. I'm used to it now, so I'll probably put that. And I'm sure that they both fit inside. This is the pillowcase that it comes with. And this is not a sponsored video. They did send me the pillow, but that was it. It was just for me to test out again. I'm not getting paid. And this is not the same. This is more like a nylon type one, where that is definitely cotton. Otherwise, it looks the same. But it's super nice. This is going to be super cool in the summertime, though. Actually, the cotton one is too, though. But they come, it makes it so that the dip stays down. You don't really want to use a regular pillowcase with it. You want to use the one that comes with it. Anyways, that is the hot flash or the wrinkles part of this video. I love this pillow and I know when, I don't know, I was complaining or something in a video about something, either wrinkles or my eyelashes or something and you guys told me, several of you guys told me I needed one of those pillows. This was before I got it two years ago. And I thought, oh, okay. And I looked it up and it was expensive. I thought it was expensive. But I thought, I'm not spending $100 on a pillow. It's not going to be worth it. And I was wrong. I have and this is me after I've used it. Because I don't know. It's just I had a fit when my husband paid $100 for a pillow from the Select Comfort store. It was like a feather pillow. A goose down pillow. But he said he didn't care. He couldn't sleep. And if that would help him sleep, it was worth it. And so... And that was long before I got this one. So I don't know. It's like I have never, I, in the last two years, I haven't used another pillow. So I think it's, I think it's worth it. Just the fact that it is, you know, you spend so much on skincare and then to have a pillow that keeps you from getting wrinkles. And it does. I'm telling you, it does. It's just, it's amazing. It's who'd have thought, right? Who'd have thought? Because like I said, I looked it up and I thought, I'm not spending that much money on a pillow. It can't be that good. It is. I can't say it enough. And if you have extensions, everyone with extensions needs lash extensions. 
a pillow like this. They do. It's just, after you get it, you'll never sleep on another pillow. You'll love it because your eyelashes will not get messed up. So, that's the end of this part of the video. Now we're gonna move on to the makeup. Okay, and now for the makeup part of this video, we are gonna be testing out the, this is what I got. I got this Anastasia um, Brow, what is it called? Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. And my color is top. Um, I'm gonna do a speed makeup of the rest of my makeup since we're only testing the brows. I'm gonna be using old stuff for everything else. So I'm going to just do it on camera, but I'm gonna, it's gonna be speed makeup. And anyways, this is what I got. We're gonna be trying, this is not new. And it is, I don't even know if that's gonna show up. To me. We're gonna be, one eyebrow I'm gonna do with this one. This is the Wet n Wild one. This is my old one. And yes, I'm gonna buy a new one because I really like this. This is the Ultimate Brow Kit from Wet n Wild. It costs $4.99. This is Duo Brow Duo, which you get just the powder, the two little things of powder. This one you get the dark powder, the light powder. This is like a waxy stuff that you can put on top, like a gel, only it's thicker. It has a little brush. It has a little pair of tweezers. All that cool stuff. I've never used the brush or tweezers, but you know, you can. Um, and this costed $23, $25 with tax. So we're gonna try it out. I think I'm gonna put one on one eye and one on the other. It depends on if they're super different colors because this one, I don't think this one has a color. I think it's just, you, that's it. Yeah, brown color. I don't know if it comes in more colors. I don't remember seeing more colors. I do have it in my cart for Ulta. They do have it on Ulta's website. It's um, online only. And I'm going to make do an order on Friday for the 21 Days of um, Beauty. And so I didn't want to pay shipping on $4.99, so I just left it in my cart. So I will be ordering a new one, but I haven't got it yet. That's why we're using this old one. Anyway, that's what we're gonna be testing to see if this, even though it's different colors, is as good as this. Or if this is everything, I don't know why I closed it. Now I can't get, oh yeah, I did get it open. Anyways, to see if it's, you know, all it's cracked up to be. I don't know if I've ever used Anastasia's um, brow. I've used her dip brow, I've used her pencil, and I liked them both. And I think I've used, no, that's it, the dip brow and the pencil. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do. And now I am going to probably put some music on and do the first part of my makeup really fast. And as you can see, I have really, really, really red cheeks. And I would have been done with this video a long time ago, except I decided to shave my face, you know, with one of these things. I got a new one. This is the old one. But I got a new one and I decided to do that and it's a lot sharper, I guess, because my cheeks got so red. So I put some stuff on them, and I waited a little while, and I wiped that stuff off and put some CeraVe on them, and they're still red, and I can't wait any longer. So we're just gonna go ahead and make this video and hopefully cover them up. And if not, we're just gonna have rosy cheeks and I won't need blush, huh? So, okay, let's get started. I'm not gonna talk, and I'm not gonna show you each item. I'll just have it all listed below, so. Here we go.
Okay, we're ready. We're ready to do the brows. But okay, there. The bottom of those is the Wet and Wild, and then the middle one is the Anastasia one that I'm going to use. So we'll start with Anastasia one because that's what I started with, and I said I was going to put it on this side. So we're going to do the darker part of the Anastasia one. And I already spoolied it a little bit. Let's just see. I want this to be kind of quick since I spent so much time explaining the oh so wonderful pillow that I think is the best. So what do you think? This one looks, it doesn't look top to me. It looks like soft brown. Cause see, it's pretty dark, but it's beautiful so far. I have to get in here where I have no hairs. Well, what do you think? I think it's pretty. Let's just see how the elf one works. It's cute too. The Anastasia one is. This one's not as cute. And the picture I saw on um, the Ulta website is exactly like that. So it hasn't changed in the bazillion years since I got this one. Although it's probably not a bazillion years because I thought that I had had my pillow a lot longer too. And when I, I went back and looked at my videos for when I first got it and it was only two years ago. Seems like I've been using it for a lot longer than that. But what do I know, right? What do you think the colors? They're pretty close. Not exact. I think this one's a little darker. But I can always go back over both of them with that really light one from Anastasia after we decide if it's you know this one's going on just as well though I have to say if not better I hate doing brows what about you guys it's my biggest pain I think I don't know, maybe I'm just blind because to me they look, like I said, this one looks just a little bit darker, but other than that, one looks just as good as the other, I think. Okay, that's it guys. They're done. Let me see if there's any fallout. Because it is a powder. I don't see any. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments for sure. Next week, I think, and I'm not going to promise this because I'm not sure if they'll let me film there, but I have found out or decided that I need hearing aids. They, when I went to Kentucky where my grandchildren are, I couldn't hear them. No matter, and I hate asking people to repeat themselves, especially since the second time they say it, I still can't hear them. And I've been saying that to my son forever. So anyways, I went and got tested and yes, I need hearing aids. So tomorrow I am going to go have them fitted and pick them up. And I was gonna take you guys along because I thought this might be something you guys are interested in. So next week's, it's not really, it's hot flash and wrinkles, but it's not really hot flash and wrinkles because it really has nothing to do with wrinkles or hot flashes. It's just being old. And I'm also getting my eyes tested because I've noticed that I can't see. 
you know, I mean, I have glasses and you guys know I wear readers. I've had LASIK like two or three times and they just, I didn't know it. Did you guys know that when you get LASIK, it's not forever? It, they grow back? It's like, I got LASIK and uh, it was amazing. They, I had stigmatisms in both eyes and they fixed them. And then I had um, a problem on one eye. It After a while, it started be, being not as clear and you have to go back a bunch of times. And they saw something growing there. So I had LASIK again on one eye like three or four times because it kept doing that. And then, and then I got one more time on both eyes, like probably a couple of years after that. And that was probably 10 years ago. And then probably five years ago, I went to the eye doctor. It was probably more than 10 years ago when I got the LASIK then. Um, the eye doctor and, cause I was gonna get reading glasses, you know, prescription ones. It was part of my insurance at the time. And so, anyways, they said that I had something growing and that I had astigmatism and this and that and the other. And I'm like, no, I don't. I had LASIK. And they're like, oh yeah, they grow back. And I'm like, and this was the doctor saying this. So I was shocked. I know that they told me that presbyopia is not treated with LASIK. And that is like just degeneration. Degeneration. That's what Presley of is like. You can't read things when you get older. That's it's an age degeneration. And so I was ready for that. That's why I was getting readers. But I was not ready for having stigmatisms again. So, anyways, I'm gonna get my eyes tested tomorrow too. Um, I'm going to Costco and getting both done. I've already got the. I already had the hearing test at Costco and the the. Hearing aids I'm getting are super reasonable. Um, they're the Costco brand, the Kirkland Signature 10. That's what I'm gonna get. So if you're interested, they were $1,400. And the glasses, the eye exam is 79 at our Costco. It's different, it's usually from 75 and 80, I think, on at most Costco's. And it's a private doctor. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get my glasses there because I've done some research since then finding out that their anti-reflection coating is not very good. So unless they have a premium one that I can upgrade to, I'll probably just get the eye exam and get my glasses somewhere else. They're supposed to have really good, you know, I'm gonna have my glasses, my use the frames, the, the Versace frames that I already have because I really like those and there's no need in buying more frames. When I have those designer ones that I like that nobody else can get because they're so old, you can't get them anymore. So anyways, <laughs> that's the end. We're done. I'm not going to talk anymore. So I hope you enjoyed this video and yes, I think that the Wet n Wild is just as good as the Anastasia and it's four dollars and 99 cents on the Ulta website and I will list it below. The only thing is it doesn't come in multiple colors. You just kind of have to go light or go dark. You know just put more on I think. I'm pretty sure there was only the one in the um, wet and wild one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah!